Take a little motion, one, two, three. Take a little motion, one, two, three. Take a little motion, one, two, three. Everybody join the class. Are you joining the class? Wonderful. I like that. Little angels, how are you? I hope you're fine. It's your teacher, Anansieta. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Now, we have been just doing what has remained. How many are left? My take away. Minus. What is this minus? Minus simply means to subtract. And when you talk about subtraction, you are reducing. Subtraction, you are reducing. How many balls are here? I have three balls. Then I throw one ball towards Oscar's desk. How many balls am I left with? How many balls am I left with? Yes, Johnny, how many balls? Two balls. Why? Because I have subtracted the number of balls that I, I had. So we are talking about how many balls are here? One, two, three. Then they say, three, take away, take away, one is dash. So I threw one ball next to Oscar's desk. How many balls did I remain with? I remained with two balls. And we are saying, now, this word, take away. This word, take away, will be, will be shown by this sign, like a small, a very small dash. Then this sign is, will be shown by the equals to sign. Meaning that when you have three items on this side, then you take away one. The items remaining on this side should be the same, the items remaining on the after the equal sign. So subtraction, we are saying subtraction is shown by this sign, meaning minus, reduce, subtract, take away. How many are left? So we are being told during lunchtime, I had three, I had five rulers. During lunchtime, we were doing measurement. Do you know after this we will be doing measurement? Yes. So I'm preparing myself. So during lunchtime, I had five rulers. But it happened that the grade one blue are ahead of us. They have already started measurement. So they came and borrowed. San Anzeta, please assist us with two rulers. So they took two rulers, which means I subtracted two rulers from my five rulers. How many am I remaining with? So I have five rulers. And we are saying, out of these five rulers, one, two has been taken away. Two have been taken away. So how many rulers am I left with? Let me count. One, two, three. So class, how many rulers are remaining with Ms. Anunciata? They are three rulers. Very good. Very good. Yesterday, I went to the staff room and I asked Mr. Opio. Mr. Opio, we gave you six exercise books yesterday. Let me draw the exercise books. Some of you, they think I don't know how to draw. I know how to draw these books. Huh? How can I miss to draw, know how to draw these books? They look like butterflies. You, I'm waiting for you to draw yours so that I can see if they look like mine or they'll be like tables. So, Mr. Pio was given by grade one learners. How many exercise books? There were six exercise books. Then, Mr. when Mr. Pio came for the lesson, do you know how many books he came with? Mr. Pio only came with three books. How many were taken to the staff room? They were six. But when Mr. Pio came back for the lesson, do you know he only came with three books? So how many books were missing? So Mr. Pio had only three books. 
So how many are remaining? We are missing three books. In the field yesterday, some girls had ropes. Some girls had ropes. They were skipping the public van, public van. Someone is asking me how many ropes. These girls were only two and they were having two ropes. And they were grade two girls, I saw them. But now, when the grade fours came out for games, they went and took away the two ropes from these girls. So, we are having how many ropes? Two ropes. Then grade fours are here to pick all the two ropes. How many are remaining? How many were left? Let us see. This rope has been taken. This one has been taken. So, is there anything left there? No. What does it mean? I now introduce the second rule in subtraction. We said, what was the first rule in subtraction? Any number take away or any number minus a zero is that number. But now the question here is, any number minus the same number, it becomes a zero. Is zero something? No, zero is nothing. The grade of two learners had how many ropes? Two ropes. Then when the grade fours came for games, they took the two ropes. So how many ropes were left with the grade two? They were left with nothing. So we are saying any number take away a zero is that number. Am I very clear? Class, is that okay? Now, any number taking away itself. I am one. Then I take away myself. What do I mean? What remains there? Nothing. So any number take away itself. It remains nothing. These are the two, three carrots. Then these carrots are taken away, all of them. How many are remaining? I had the three carrots and I used all of them to cook. How many are remaining? Zero. So someone remind me the two rules I've taught you in subtraction. Very fast, very fast. I want to see who is remaining, who is going to do this and get a big, 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 big smile. Yes, Oscar. Uh -huh. In San Anceta, you have said, any number take away a zero is that number. Repeat class. Any number take away a zero is that number. And any number take away itself is a zero. Again, any number take away itself. When a number takes away itself, it is a four. Then it takes away itself, the whole four. I am remaining with a zero. Class, is there a problem up to there? Is there something you don't understand or you need clarification? Any problem? Now, during your own free time, you will be counting the number of stones arranged along the parade square. Have you seen the parade square? There are some very nice colorful stones arranged there. So count those stones. Then you remove, you count the stones on the the longer side of the parade square, then the shorter side of the parade square. Then you remove all the stones on the shorter side. How many stones will be left on the longer side? When you go to the kitchen, the dining hall, during lunch hour, count all the tables. Then say, table one to table five will be used by grade ones. How many tables will be left for grade twos? Are we together? Have I communicated something? I am very happy and I am very excited because most of you are getting these points and these concepts very well. I wish you well and hope you have a nice day.